Do you hear that? I think love is in the air. It's cocktail time. Hi, <laughs> I'm Julia Carley. This is Mix It, a Valentine's Day Mix It, which means cocktails for two. It's gonna be raspberry, blackberry, rosemary. Mary, 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 Mary. I just realized that. <laughs> uh, champagne drink. It has all the elements that just make you feel, you know, mm, inside. As per usual, I don't know what to call my drinks. I just make them. I don't name them. You do. Uh, leave a comment below. Let me know what you think this cocktail should be called. And a little shout out to Miko, who last month for the hot toddy called it, and I love this, call me in the morning. As in, take two of these, call me in the morning. First thing we're going to do is make our raspberry, blackberry, rosemary puree. We're gonna do handfuls. I know, I know. You can measure it out if you like, but we're gonna do a handful. Then we're gonna take some uh, rosemary. Take off those leaves. Do another. Makes it just a little bit more herbaceous and floral. Get this on nice and tight. It's sweet. It's herbaceous. It's gonna be good in our cocktail. And I'm gonna start making our garnish because since this is a sparkly cocktail, we don't want to lose those sparkles once we pour it. So here we go. Take a lemon rind, cut off a really big twist. Now I am no artiste. Let's see what I can do. We got a little heart. Let's make another one real fast. One of the cartoon characters when they're in love and it's like, oh, good. Let's make the cocktail. Grab our glasses, start with our puree. I'm using a bar spoon here and it equates to maybe like a quarter, half ounce. We're gonna start with some Lillet Blanc, one of my favorite things in the world. It's an aromatized wine. So it starts with these really fine wines out of Bordeaux. And then it has this mild honey sweetness and it has a little touch of quinquina in there. So a little bit of that bitterness. We're gonna do a full ounce of the Lillet. There we go. Now we're gonna do a little maraschino liqueur, but just a little bit. I really wanted a little hint of um, almond and cherry and vanilla that you're gonna get from the maraschino liqueur. It really like rounds things out. So we're gonna do a quarter ounce. It also gives it a nice texture because it's kind of syrupy. We're just gonna give this a little stir. I chose a Brut Rosé sparkling wine or champagne. If it's in the champagne region, you know the rules there. But this one's a sparkling wine. Make sure you keep your finger on the cork. Because <laughs> if this has been riled up in any way, and I chose a brute, by the way, because I already have a lot of sweetness coming with that Lillet as well as the maraschino liqueur. So a brute makes it nice and dry. Look at those bubbles. <gasps> Can you hear them? All right, look at that color. Now that is what I'm talking about. All right, and now we're gonna go ahead and garnish. We're gonna take our stabbies. I'm gonna like thread it through. So it looks kind of like this. Drop that one in there. Take a little bit of rosemary. I'm going in. Well, I have no one to cheers with. Womp womp, I'll cheers myself. Happy Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day. <clears throat> All right, my friends, happy Valentine's Day. Let's see how we did here. Ooh, it tickles my nose. So you know you're doing it right when it tickles your nose. Oh, that rosemary really brings out that like herbaceous feel. That almond and cherry gives it this roundness and this nice texture. Cheers to you and a happy Valentine's Day. For this recipe and all the tools that you may need to be your own at-home bartender, just type in Mix It in the search bar on QVC.com. Like, share, and subscribe so you can come to my happy hour and don't miss an episode.